Hey guys, this is Jake and today we're going to be checking out this beast. Best overall laptop, I think so. Alright guys, let's get started. So the laptop we're going to be checking out today is the ASUS M550JV, a 15.6 touchscreen laptop. The ASUS M55 is a true modern day Windows 8 workhorse, with internals being an Intel i7 processor and 8GB of RAM. Taking a look around the laptop, it is constructed beautifully with an all metal chassis. The laptop feels incredible to the touch and makes up for other aspects of this laptop. On the left we have two USB 3 ports, your audio input, power input, a full HDMI port, and display port. This laptop also supports an Ethernet cable. On the right hand side you'll have a single USB 3 port, a card reader, and your CD drive. The biggest downside I've had found during my review would have been the inclusion of this optical drive. If ASUS decided to get rid of this CD drive, it would have shaved a great amount of the laptop's current weight of 5.7 pounds. The display of the ASUS laptop produces one of the most accurate colors to date. The 1080p ISP display is powered by a Navita GeForce GT 750M with 2GB of DDR3 video RAM. Simply put, the ASUS M55 can contend with the most modest gaming PCs to date. Although I did not feature any gameplay in this video review, I was able to test these graphics card running League of Legends on max settings, receiving nearly 120 frames per second, and dipping to 1680 frames when actions on the screen got to be a bit intense. In order to cool down this beast, you'll need to have the right amount of cooling power. The N55 with its twin cooling fans can adequately cool the fans, but I highly suggest not having this laptop on your legs for prolonged periods of time. Also under the hood of the laptop, you'll also have your speakers and a sizable battery. Battery runtime for me during my weeks of review gave me on average nearly 4-6 to six hours of on-screen battery time. This is great for a laptop packing this much heat. It also is important to note that I've played numerous games on this laptop on high settings, max brightness, and having multiple applications open during my personal battery test. The keyboard is another feature I've grown to like about this laptop. Sporting a full keyboard, although being a little cramped, allowed me to get the most out of this laptop. The keys on the board allowed me for minimal track and great feedback after each press. To top things off about the keyboard, it also supports backlights that will help you tackle your homework or your late night movie binges. Another thing that, that is backlit is the ASUS logo on the front of the laptop. All of these backlight features can be configured in the settings portion of your laptop or using the FN controls on your keyboard. I've noticed now that many computer manufacturers find it somewhat trendy to put a touchscreen display on their high-end models. This seems to be the case for the ASUS M550JV. I was both impressed and not impressed by the touchscreen capabilities of this laptop. Although being snappy and great for handling tricky parts in Photoshop or Lightroom, I found myself never using the touchscreen because the laptop's trackpad is the greatest trackpad I've used in a long time. Every click or double tap felt great and I never found myself struggling to re-click on an item using this trackpad. Along the trackpad you'll also find your indicators for internet, battery and much more. Overall my experience with the ASUS N55 has been great. Browsing and working on this laptop is incredible and none of the tasks I've been able to do have crashed on me, not even Premiere Pro. With specs running this high, I feel as if ASUS could have gone with the CD drive and touchscreen capabilities and really putting this great laptop to becoming a great ultra book. So guys that is it for me and this quick review of the ASUS N55. JV. If you enjoyed and would like to see more like this, do give it a like. And if you didn't like this video, give it a dislike and let me know down in the comments why. Follow me on Twitter and Facebook for updates and future reviews. So guys, that is it for me and I'll be catching you in the next one.